Hi friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show how the responsive design works. So what is responsive design? So we have a website. If that website open it in a different devices such as iPad, mini iPad, iPhone, the website has to be vis viewable and with all the details in it. So if the website is not the responsive design, then even if you open it in the iPad or I iPhone, the website won't look nice. For example, this is a website which is not a responsive design. If I minimize this to a smaller size, look at it. So you have to do this horizontal scrolling. Imagine it, if you have a very big, big, very good website which has a lot of details, user won't view this horizontal maybe some of the data moved to different location because we haven't created the website to work for iPhone so what I, responsive design do is we make the website to be visible or viewable properly in a smaller screen such as iPhone or iPad so I already created a a response to this website so it's called test.html same html but different css just a small change in css to make the website to works for iphone or ipad or in any other devices smaller devices so let's open this one in a smaller size you already saw the problem with the scroll bar issue uh, user a lot of users don't like to use this horizontal scroll to see all the details they use touch screen to just scroll down rather they use right side so if you so I already have a test test HTML which is responsive design I'm going to click it see here it's well viewable so one item in a view so if you scroll down you can see the old movies on the top new movies on the bottom so this is responsive design if I increase the size just keep increasing keep increasing then it will come into new different view and it will be keep increasing in iPad it will be look like this so there is no horizontal scroll bar any bad looking if you open the other one you will see the looks a little bit different yeah I have a horizontal scroll bar and the this uh, look also a little bit different just see the difference so I'm gonna show the basic way of uh, creating responsive design so let's take this test to to do to to dot html as our example so first thing we will take a look at our html code um, we have main view which is the master master div and then we have movie title and movie list inside the movie list we have old movie div and new movie div old movie has list of movie items looks like this so list of movie items let's check the css we're gonna just change the css to make this web page to work in all different devices so first thing we're gonna do is main view which is which we have a width 900 px and we have old movies which is a left side view and new movies which is on the right side we have a width is 450px and the right side we have 450px it's um, 900 divided by 2 so left side 50 percentage right side 50 percentage so most of the people use fixed width we try to use percentage to make the responsive design works we will convert all the fixed width like this to the percentage so first thing what we're gonna do is is the main view we're gonna change this to 100% and we have a left side view old movies we'll change this to 50% and we the right side view new movies which is which will change to 50% save it take a look at the page refresh you'll see the difference now we have a left side 
which is 50 percent age all old movies and the right side we have 50 percent which is new movies let's reduce the size so now this almost looks like our responsive design the one which we created the test data HTML so if you reduce the size to iPhone size there is a one issue here it's merged together which is not good so we will try to make the view looks nice so what we're trying to do is maybe we can move the new movies below the old movies list so if you see the responsive design so we have old movies here and then it's going the old new movies under below the old movies so how do you make this there's a new tag called new query sorry media query so just to create a media query media all and max width 500 px so now what we're telling here is if the view is less than 500 px or less than or equal to 500 px make this change so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change a body to font weight bold so anytime you reduce the view to 500 less than or equal to 500 px then the font become bold let's see these changes refresh and reduce the size do you see the difference so you, this is more than 500 px this is font looks normal when I reduce to less than 500 px the font color changes so now we have a control on CSS so when it will reduce to find less than less than or equal to 500 px we will change the font to bold same way we are going to modify this CSS let's see so what we have to change here is we have to modify the movie items old movies and new movies class first we're gonna change movie items to with this 120px we're gonna change this width to min width 120px width to 100% Okay, and one more thing we have we have to do is let's let's refresh the page first. Refresh. I don't see any difference here, not not much difference here. So problem is if you oh, if you right click and inspect element with firebug, see the difference. Well, let's click the movie item. We applied if it is a less than 500 px we applied font body weight bold that we that we got it here but movie item not become 100 px so if you see this here there are two movie items here or whatever we applied or with 100 percent it's it's not applied the problem is it's not giving important to this class to get this one to be important there's a one small change important just type apostrophe and important and save this now refresh the page so now we got 100 percent still the design is not good because the old movie is supposed to be in the top or new movie is supposed to go below it okay let's uh, make that change also let's take this old movie class change with 100% and make this also important put exclamation mark and new 
new movies make width to same way 100% save this um, I'm using notepad plus plus for this to edit this HTML page um, but you can use darknet uh, there are a lot of good editors available you can use that so close save this file and go and refresh it we'll see the difference There is one small change we can do. Uh, instead of 100%, let's make this as a 90%, which gives some space in between. Refresh this page. See, looks nice. So, old movies on the top, new movies on the bottom. If you reduce the size, still looks nice. See here. So, this is what called responsive design the small changes the media all and max width 500 pixels same way you can make your uh, it depends on the device size you can apply your uh, style sheet uh, it's right now here I created with within the page but you can create separate style sheet for each media query each size um, there is a website you'll see here media queries for standard device so they mention each device what's the size so you can apply for example if you take ipad size let's take this code i'm gonna apply here uh, one small changes we need to make this only apply for ipad device so to just for our example i'm gonna delete this device but then it will work in our PC browser also. If it is 768,024, that's iPad portrait style. When this is the size, then we're gonna change body font to normal. And font. Okay, refresh this page see it's changed sorry about that um, I copied the wrong one um, if I when you use the real iPad that will work fine so see the difference when the size change there will become red color and the size change again it become dark black color so you can use the media query to um, control the CSS to change a view of the website. So this CSS trick has cstricks.com has a list of different devices size. So you can copy that and start create your own website, which looks awesome in all different devices. Thanks for watching. Um, enjoy the day. Bye.